Though the COVID-19 vaccine has been proven to be safe and effective, doctors warn there still can be uncomfortable temporary side effects. News 8's Tim Blodgett has the story about a new side effect that has some worried. As thousands of Americans are being vaccinated for COVID-19 every day, many people are reporting side effects associated with the injection. Fatigue, fever, headaches are all common in those who have been recently vaccinated. However, one effect of the vaccine that seems to be cropping up recently is known as COVID arm. When I first got it, it was very random because it was almost exactly eight days after my vaccine. So all of a sudden it showed up and I was like, wow, my arm's really burning. It hurts. Kara Leeper is a speech therapist in Los Angeles. More than a week after she was vaccinated, she started noticing a rash on her arm where the needle went in. When I looked at it, there was just a big red bullseye rash and it itched and hurt and was warm to the touch. Though she said the rash on her arm only lasted about 48 hours, she still wondered what could have caused it. So I took the question to Dr. Mark Shalata, who is the co-chair of the vaccine committee in Rancho Bernardo. So it's an immune reaction, but delayed. So it's revving up and it's creating, uh, again, the reaction that you want to be happening um, or even possibly just reacting to one of the components in the vaccine. But it's not really an allergy, so it's not dangerous um, and absolutely OK to get the next one. He says the vaccine is still safe and effective and there are easy ways to cope with the pain or discomfort that the shot may have caused, like a cold compress or an antihistamine but keep an eye on it so it doesn't get worse. Draw a line around it with a pen just to make sure it's not expanding because rarely, which I have not seen with any of the COVID vaccines, but it is possible to get an infection. Although it might not be fun dealing with an itchy blotch in your arm, it's better than fighting a potentially deadly disease. It's really nothing to worry about and that you should get your second vaccine to make sure that you're fully, fully vaccinated for COVID. Tim Blodgett, News 8.